As we approach the eve of the year 2012, the world is at a critical crossroads. These are very unpredictable, turbulent times. For some, it's the beginning of the apocalypse. For others, it's the beginning of a new age of enlightenment and spiritual awakening, ushering in a new age of true prosperity. Scientists have proven at a subatomic level everything is vibration and energy, including our thoughts. Everything is interconnected, and in our dynamic universe, we appear as a tiny speck of dust drifting aimlessly in a galaxy of stars struggling to exist on a very fragile lifeboat called planet Earth. At this moment in time, the human condition is in jeopardy. On or about Monday, October 31st, 2011, while some of us were enjoying the scary delights of Halloween, the seventh billion citizen of the world was born. This is at a time when each year approximately 9.2 million children under the age of five die mainly from preventable diseases. A time when over 80 percent of humanity lives on less than ten dollars a day, over two billion on less than two dollars a day, over one billion on less than one dollar a day. A time when people at the top one percent of our population own as much tangible wealth as those at the bottom ninety percent. If this ominous trend continues, then our dangerously unbalanced lifeboat is going to sink. Rich and poor, sick and healthy, good and bad, we're all in the same boat, together. Civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. spoke the significant words, As long as there is poverty in the world, I can never be rich. As long as diseases are rampant, I can never be totally healthy. I can never be what I ought to be until you are what you ought to be. True prosperity includes having everything one needs physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually to live a healthy, productive, purposeful, joy-filled life. And this means everyone, child, woman, and man on the planet. It's a universal law that there's more than enough out there for everyone. We just have to get used to the idea of sharing. Or as Mahatma Gandhi so nicely put it, there's enough in the world for everyone's need. There is not enough for everyone's greed. Wouldn't it be a wonderful life if people could realize and appreciate how much we need each other to grow and to flourish and to be able to live in a spirit of love and cooperation? Bishop Desmond Tutu, Nobel Peace Prize winner, has said, God's dream is that one day we will also realize we are truly one family. Each of us is unique, born with our own special gifts and talents that are meant to be nurtured and cherished and expressed freely and passionately in the world. If for any reason we bury our gifts and talents in doubt and fear, instead of sharing them with joy and love, well then, what are we here for? What is our purpose?